Hello everybody, welcome back to Donkey Kong Country and this the 16-bit summer. Last time we beat Gorilla Glacier. Today we're going to Krim Croc Industries Inc. Let's go. Oh and by the way, uh that's that's a save point down there. That's candy. Hopefully we go straight the frick down. Uh but yeah. Oh no, it's gonna wrap around, isn't it? That's a freaking bridge that we're gonna go and then we got to go all the way back. We better not. So yeah, oil, uh, oil drum alley. And by the way, ooh, I like this background. Or just theme in general. Yeah, I knew you're gonna jump down. And by the way, if you're interested in winning a, uh, what is, what, what was the point of that? A 16-bit mini console link to the Gleam competition in the description down below. Oh God, jumpers. All right, we're good. Into the fire you go, okay, fine. All right, so avoid the fire, avoid the enemies. Fire does indeed hurt. Why you just have oil drums just like standing around? That, I'm, I'm pretty sure OSHA would have something to say about that. Whatever. Okay. Easy. For now. All right. Jump over the fire crap. Yes. Jump over the fire crap. Well, hello there. Got him. All right. Well, what do we have here? Just a barrel. And, and by, by, by barrel, I, I, mean, I mean tire. I swear I've actually, like, graduated. I, I'm not that much of a moron. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Uh, probably should have left him alive. How did he survive that fire? Well, I didn't. Oh, God. Okay. He's done it. All right. So I need a Kong barrel. Ooh, introducing me to a new mechanic, huh? Fair enough. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, God. Okay. Buddy, you need to die. Yeah, he's done it. Okay. Oh no. This is utterly stressful, but ultimately it's not that bad. I was thinking there would be a secret there. Apparently there wasn't. <gasps> okay. This isn't that bad so far. Oh God. Timing. Okay, that was actually pretty easy. Why would you even do that to me? Just just have the orangutan right there, like right when I'm landing, really though. Okay, at least this level doesn't seem awful. Okay, I was hoping that would get me like a uh, Kong. Um, kind of wondering, like, when one is going to show up. And that was stupid of me to just keep moving forward. But yeah, the combination of this level and, uh, really naughty. I'm not too fussed about it. I mean, yeah, if I get a game over, it's gonna suck that I have to fight really naughty again, but... This level seems chill enough, where... How did I not get hit there? Yeah, this level seems chill enough where, um, if I gotta redo it, it won't be the worst thing in the world. I'm saying that now, but I'm probably gonna end up having to redo this. Oh well. Unless I can get some bananas. Okay, I need ten more. Alrighty. Wait, I can just do this. I'm a freaking idiot. Like, why do I keep just almost killing myself trying to 
like jump on them when I can just roll into them or cartwheel into them if I were Diddy. Okay, this animation is so extra. Oh no! <sighs> ah well. I, I was gonna say that shouldn't have hit me, but yeah, nah, that 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 very clearly hit me. I, I can't even be mad about that one. I can be disappointed. I can be a little bit bummed, but mad? Nah, I'm cool. All right, see when I beat really naughty again. I'm tempted to just leave that in because that took me no time whatsoever to beat. Well, hello there. Ah, crap. I missed, pal. Or did I want to get that oil barrel because there is stuff underneath? But... Yeah, um, these bosses are not the hardest thing in the world. I guess I should be happy, but I mean, even DKC too, the bosses started off, I'm not going to say like super difficult, but they were pretty challenging. Like you had to put your thinking cap on. And I don't mind a boss that makes you think. But yeah, these bosses are just kind of like, eh. Like, we, we, we know, well, then again, actually, that could be a case of fairly decent game design. Especially with the way that the game functions, where it's like, oh, you, ergh, God, what was I even attempting to do there? Where with the game overs and whatnot, you know, you're gonna have to redo a boss, so. Probably be in your best interest to have an easy boss. So you're not getting frustrated if you get a game over and you have to redo a section. So, yeah, don't look gift horse in the mouse. In the mouse? What the frick is wrong with me? In the mouth. Because it'd be really stressful and bad if I had to deal with hard bosses in this game save system. So, yep. Thank my lucky stars. And I have a pretty easy go of things right now. What is accuracy? I don't even know. Uh, not today, buddy. Wow. That was actually pretty devious. He's done it. It's not a Kong barrel, though. Okay, no safety net. Oh my god! What was that enemy placement, yo? I thought I jumped way too early. Can I make that with a normal jump or... Okay. Did a jump so I can hold down the run button as opposed to rolling to hold it down. I'm... learning. <laughs> Crap. I don't even know what I was attempting to do with that jump. That was just awful. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, man. Like... I had a feeling this was going to happen, where, like, now that I'm trying to play the game while constantly holding down the run button, jumps I was used to making before are going to be a lot harder for me to hit, because I'm so used to the 
slow momentum, that thing speeding up for me now is making this a little bit rough and I'm misjudging like some of these distances. But I'll get there soon enough. You bet your bottom dollar. What does that even mean, by the way? Like, I, I know it means, you know, something along the lines of like, oh yeah, you better believe it. But I mean, like, the, the saying, where did that even come from? I mean, I know it was in, uh, the, the, what was it, Annie? When they were singing about tomorrow and whatnot. You know how it's only a day away? Which, I mean, you know, I, I take umbrage to that, but I'm not going to uh, argue with her. Little Orphan Annie has been through a lot. I mean, she is an orphan after all. But, yeah, you bet your bottom dollar. Why your bottom dollar? Why not top dollar? Ah, crap. You are angry, buddy. But yeah, bet your top dollar. Because, you know, people pay top dollar for services. Like, that's how you know you're really sure. Like, you're not betting your bottom dollar, you're betting your top one. I might be insane. Oh my god. Thank god I, I am not sliding off of this. This is not... Uh... Crash Insane Trilogy! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, and that's a long fire burn. He's done it. There's gonna be a barrel throwing orangutan, isn't there? I swear to god. Oh, okay. <laughs> that seemed like prime barrel throwing orangutan territory. So, um, I do not have a save point. That is, um, I'm going to be in here for the long haul, huh? And based on the name of this level, uh, oh boy, it's going to be rough. Uh, trick, track, trek. That is a tongue twister. Okay. Not what I was expecting. Um, okay, your forward momentum is uh, okay. Yeah, so you need to. All right, all right. You need to move with it. It doesn't give you momentum. You just have to. What is happening with DK there? Okay. Um, I'm highly stressed out right now. Yeah, I'm in pure concentration mode. Oh no, okay. And I know I could be going for bananas, but I'm scared. Ah! Oh, oh, that was not gonna fall, okay. I thought it was gonna fall. Can you blame me for being nervous? Wish I could check my banana count. Okay. Halfway point. What are what are you doing there, buddy? Oh god. Oh no. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Oh my lanta. Okay.
Like, I'm not saying a damn thing. Oh my, oh my, oh my goodness. Ah! How does this function, by the way? Good lord. Why did I jump back? Oh my god. Okay. Um. I made it further into there than I was expecting. I'm actually amazed. Oh my god. Yeah, alright. I'm probably gonna get a game over. It's not me being pessimistic. That's just me being real. Because I don't quite understand how the enemies function like they do when they're falling down. Is it proximity based or timer based? That was a delayed reaction right there. Like... I genuinely have no clue what's going on. <laughs> At least they're nice enough to stop the conveyor belt. Like, when you get hit. Okay. Alright, I did not get hit there. Oh my god, th this again. Okay, yeah, grab those bananas. Those are my lucky ones. Okay, yeah. Oh, but no, you're gonna toss them behind you now. What the fuck? Okay. I don't even know what I could have done there. What, what's gonna happen? Of course. Oh, we're done. All right, <gasps> save. No! One more level? Elevator antics. Okay. It's a it's a snake. Okay, I can I can land on the snakes. No, oh my god. That one hurts. That hurts. That hurts. Okay. Um. Dang. At least those two levels. I, I don't know. The end of the oil level gets a little bit scary. But I think I'll be fine going back through. And as long as I remember how to deal with that second half of Trick Track Trek. I think I'll be perfectly fine there. That is really messed up on where I died on elevator antics, though. It's not expecting that. Also, I'm doing the smart thing and uh, going back to the beginning of the game to grind lives. Alright, took longer than expected to get back to this point, but... Eh, I didn't lose too many lives. Okay. See, I need to get back in the mindset of this. Evil buzzet. Oh, God, okay. Sneaky snakes. Oh, it's a snake generator. Ooh. Okay, I see how y'all gonna be, and thank you for finally giving me a new Kong. Can I destroy those? Probably not. You go all the way up, don't you? Okay. Cool. Oh god, I should have seen that coming. Alright. I'm safe right here, and we're good. Okay. Alright, um... I see how they're going to be on this level. Also, where's the elevator at? 
Yeah, I saw that rope. Oh, great. Okay. Crap, I spelled cog. Alright, fine. But, yeah, this level seems like it's going to be a bit on the troll side. And I don't quite know how I feel about that. But I guess I'm just going to have to deal with it. No point in getting upset. You just got to show the game who's boss. That you mean business. And you might just have to, you know, take it slow, take your time. Don't take unnecessary risks. If you got to stay on each rope and, like, check out what's happening, then that's what you got to do. See? Just take it slow. Just take it slow. Okay. So that's the extent of your little... Go ahead. Uh, whatever. We, we'll, we'll tank that. We'll, we'll tank that. I think I'll just stick on the high path. <sighs> okay. Um... Wow. Okay. Not much to really say here. Uh, just a little bit on the upset side. At least I spelled Kong, and yay, I get a one up. Whoa. Yeah, I am a bit on the annoyed side of things because of how this level appears to be structured. Just a bunch of cheap hits. Not everything is cheap, but I don't know. I, I don't like how some of these ropes are handled. But it's fine. I'll get through this, because ultimately it doesn't seem that bad, though now it's just a matter of memorization. Like, okay, you remember that a bullshit part is coming up, so you don't want to jump too far ahead. There we go. Okay, I have a hit this time. Screw it, I'll see what's down here. Okay, a Kong barrel and... Snake generator. Okay, a lot of quick thinking is required here. And memorization, you know, there, there's that too. Who needs skill when you can memorize? Though to be fair, memorization is a bit of a skill too. And not all forms of memorization is bad in a game, but... I don't know, it leaves a little to be desired in a platformer. Oh, now we're at the elevator section. Okay. Could have handled all of that a bit better. But I'm still alive. That's all that matters. Where are you going, buddy? Man, he moving. He moving. To his demise. Yeah, got that B. Okay. Got him. All right. Follow the banana trail. It will not lead you astray. Oh, okay. He's done it. We're going to save that 
Kong barrel for a rainy day. Thank you, elevator. Oh my god. Okay. Shit's getting real now. Oh, we're done. Uh, not quite, not quite, not quite. I see an arrow and I'm like, oh, we're done. No, that just means it's like, okay, you're at the final stretch. Don't fuck up, buddy. Ugh. <laughs> Help me, I'm afraid. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I am mind flooded right now. Oh my god. Um I, I need a hit. Okay, calm down, calm down, calm down. Breathe. Okay. I, I I was just completely frozen right there. But we're done. Anything up here? No, okay, no. And I can save. Thank you. That's all I ever wanted. Okay. All right. We have a safety net now. We have a safety net. Wow, is this going to be an all ditty clear area? Maybe. Poison Pond. This does not sound pleasant. Okay. Does not seem healthy to be in this water. Okay, I, I know I should follow the banana trail, but... That was not worth it. <laughs> For that banana bunch. That's on me. Now watch me get hit by one of these piranhas. Is there anything up in here? There's a K. Okay. All right, now let's actually not be curious and just swim. I think we can all agree to never be curious again. Oh my god. Yeah, um there's really not much you can do when they got you boxed in. Oh no. Well, hello there, Death Wheel. Just take it slow. I don't know which way to go. Is that only a banana bunch? Okay, well, fine. I don't want to go there. What, are you too good for banana bunches now? You're damn right I am. Oh my god, almost swam right into that. Okay. <sighs> alright, alright, alright. God, that same piranha. Oh, oh, no, no, no. No, no. God, I hate the underwater movement in this game. Because you can't use that to swim down fast. You, you can only tap to swim up, and then none of the other buttons allow you to do anything. It's like you can only swim fast in an upward direction, or if you allow your upward momentum to carry you, and that's... Ugh, oh boy. Uh, not fun. Okay, as long as I remember that freaking piranha that keeps hitting me... There we go. 
And now those squid are gonna be... Are they tracking me? No, okay. And there is a barrel right there. Excuse me. Okay, and back. Probably gonna have to make this the last level of the recording session. I was hoping you wouldn't come all the way up, fish. Oh no. Um. So. A midpoint would be very nice. <sighs> Sorry for peeking the mic there. Oh my god. No! <laughs> they just keep... Wow. I... And like, even quick reaction means nothing when you're at the mercy of this game's water physics. Okay, I actually didn't get hit this time. So what enemy is just gonna like spawn out of nowhere and immediately zero in on me now? I'm waiting. Okay, oh, thank God, midpoint, they actually exist. I never would have guessed. Is this a maze? Oh my god. I'm being so careful right now. I also have no clue where I'm going. But I'm seeing a lot of danger here, so I can only assume this is the correct way? No comment. This is what I'm doing now, just creeping. Why? No, oh my god. Is that even the correct way? I was just going with the flow. Is there even a Kong barrel in this vicinity? Oh my god, this is a maze. Oh, hey, Ungar. This actually changes quite a bit. At least I can kill the sharks and piranhas now. Probably not much I can do about these death wheels, but can't kill everything. Oh, thank you. Okay, all right, all right. 
So it's not as much of a maze as I initially assumed. Also, thank God for halfway decent underwater mobility with Unguard here. I say halfway decent, it's actually like really good. Because now I don't have to tap, like, swim. I can just hold the direction I want to swim and I go there. And I build up momentum over time, so... Okay, just had to focus there. I am definitely going to keep him until the end of this stage. Uh, or not, or not, um... Do you swim back and forth? He does. He does. Uh, um. Okay. All right. This is what we're doing now. This is what we're doing. Okay. Stay calm. There's the arrow. That means we're almost done. Just take it slow. Just 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 take it slow. You're you're in no rush. This isn't tropical freeze. We can breathe underwater indefinitely. Of course I didn't get the K on this go around. That's fine. That's fine. And we're done. Told you I was gonna keep on guard all the way to the end. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. All right, let's see what Cranky's talking about. Probably nothing. Cause here's Rhino Country. Crafty Croctopus Corner. Oh my God. Ran the manual that you can jump further if you hold down the run button. Yay! It only took me of uh, four worlds to finally just get that through my brain. Uh, really? All you did was just read the manual for that one and you repeated stuff I already heard. Okay, fine, whatever. Minecart Madness. Oh, what's that? I need to save this game? <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Wish I had more lives going into this, but eh, who cares? It's a minecart. It's going to be fun. And then there's probably going to be some BS jumps in the second half that have me scratching my head like, how am I supposed to do this? Where's the minecart? False advertisement, thank you. And we're off. This is not what I was expecting. I was expecting the actual minecart to jump with me. This is something new I need to get used to. It's not that bad though. See, I should not have jumped out. That was my fault. They just conditioned me to jump out at every single gap. Okay. This is mighty stressful, but it seems doable. Yikes. I, d I didn't want that G anyway. G's are for suckers. G's are terrific. Okay, okay. Get them. <gasps> Should have jumped a little earlier there. Hey, I got the G that time. Not like it matters.
Sorry, just in pure concentration mode. Hello, beaver. Oh, we're done. That was easy. Hmm. Alright, and then we got Funky's Flights and then Blackout Basement. I need to go back and save. I was expecting a little more evil out of Star Select. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was expecting a little more evil out of uh, that level. Also, I'm on call this week. Okay, saving the game now. Screw it, I'll test my luck and do one more level. Or at least attempt it. Blackout Basement. Well, it's living up to its name. Don't know how I feel about this. Okay. Yikes. I didn't know if that platform was going to retract or not. It doesn't look like they do. This is... a bit of a hot mess. Like a really big hot mess, but I'm already at the halfway point. I, I could just do that, okay. So yeah, Diddy's not girthy enough to jump on them, but he can spin them away, okay. Yikes. This is... not good. I hope nobody watching this has epilepsy. Because this is getting a little rough even for me. <laughs> okay. Progression is being made at least. Okay. Clap trap. That looks like it's going to fall. And would you know what I was right? This is a bit of a nightmare. And that's just mean. At this point, you need to have memorized how certain enemies interact. Whatever, we're done. Okay. Yeah, um... Not a fan of that. That wasn't... Like, unfair? Or anything, but... I don't know, I... I, I can't really express my reservations with that level. Like, the platforming itself was fine, but the concept is kind of... Uh? And I also feel like I got lucky with some of the enemies, because I feel like I should have got hit a few other times. Eh, whatever. Boss Dumb Drum. Phone. Will we find a Neki again? Oh, okay. Wait, what was happening? Okay. Um, I don't know what's going on. So is this just like an enemy gauntlet? I'm very confused. Okay, so I dodged one 
oh yeah it might be an enemy gauntlet so that's one and then probably two and then you're going to shake out yep okay so bop bop and then one two three shake them out i landed on that clap trap all right one two three four and then who are you gonna shake out now one two three four five and then who are you gonna shake out now I'm mad about that one. All right, well, we're not too mad. Just that—that that I'm playing up for laughs. Alright, I beat the armadillos. Yeah, okay. Wow, that was it. Yeah, uh, the second game did bosses a lot better than this game. <laughs> yeah, the, these bosses are just a bit on the lame side, in my opinion. Anyway, uh, that's not gonna, um, or that doesn't matter now because we're done with today's video. Well, it, it might matter in the future, though, because we got one more regular boss, and then we have the troll that is K. Rule. Wait, I think we do have one more regular boss. That's one, two, three, four, five. Wait a minute, one, two. Yeah, I checked the uh, level list that I have, and, uh, yeah, this is going to be it. So once we get through Chimp Caverns and Gangplank Galleon, which is just one single boss fight, we'll be done with the game. So uh, see you all next time for the end of Donkey Kong Country in this, the 16-bit summer. Having an easier time, all things considered, with this game, despite the fact that there are some trickier BS segments. It's weird. Like, yeah, I, I would call Donkey Kong Country 2 the harder game, though to be fair, I haven't seen what's coming up in Chimp Caverns, but so far, I would consider DKC 2 the harder game, but it's the more fair game, if that makes any sense. Oh, well, we'll see what uh, the old CC has to offer next time. Goodbye.